Hey guys, it's May May, and welcome back to our mini album. And I have to be honest, I don't know what part we're on. The video will say what part it is, but I don't remember at this point. But I want to show you what we're fixing to start. So if you remember, I told you I was going to use this book for my inspiration um, throughout this whole album. And so in looking through, I kind of want to do, let me say this, when I do an album, I can get very overwhelmed by how many pages I create for myself because you can be like, oh, I've got to do something different on every single page. Well, you don't. And I don't like to do that. I like to kind of assembly line things. So when I'm done, the book kind of just fills up. So here's what I did. I saw this card and I love the way this looks, but the tag goes into the side and my album's not really set up for that so I wanted to take this same idea and just turn it up so that I could use this as an inspiration here um, for the pages for some of the pages in the book so this is our inspiration all right so we're going to use this one and many more in this book but I'm starting with this one I even found my cover by the way I'm excited about that I think it's going to be really pretty and it's in the book but we'll get to that later so I went to the paper pack and found this guy. Now this piece of paper is so useful in mini albums when you're using your paper pads because these make instant pockets. They make it so easy. Now what I decided to do, like I told you, I can get overwhelmed if I think of all of this as a whole. So what I've decided to do is for this pass through the pages, I want to address the front section of each signature. So it'll be this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm only going to address four pages and I'm going to use these guys to do it with. Now we have one little issue and that is that these guys are a little too wide for our pages. They kind of hang over. So we're going to trim them down to fit. So what I'm going to do is do a little measuring. Now I kind of want to put a mat behind them because I think they'll pop much clearer if I kind of do that. So I'm going to decide what size. This is five and a half. So I'd like my mat to be five and a quarter, which means I need my um, pocket covers to be only five inches so we're going to work with those numbers and I'm going to let this determine the height that I'm going to use and the height of these guys is four inches so my mat that'll go underneath will need to be five and a quarter by four and a quarter and then these guys will be five by four I hope that wasn't too confusing and as we get going it'll make more sense so I'm going to go ahead and cut four mats at five and a quarter by four and a quarter so again, just do an assembly line, and I'm going to use some white. Now I know that it looks like there's a lot of tan in here, but there's also white, which I like. This kind of leans to both colors, so I'm going to use white to make some mats. This ought to be super easy to do, and I just need four, because remember, we're just addressing four pages at a time right now. So four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I only need four, so I should be able to get them out of here, out of this paper. So, get them down. Now, another thing I like to do before I move on is I go ahead and do a dry run of every single thing I do. Because I don't want to get all these cuts done and have to come back. And this is exactly what I want. You see, I can see the page behind it just a little bit. That's what I'm looking for. So, I'm going to go ahead to the postcards. Now, what I'm going to do first is just cut these out of the pack. So that'll take me a minute, but I'm just going to cut them right to the edges of the paper. Actually, I need to cut this strip off first. They have this little decorative strip on them. And now, like I said, I'm going to cut them right to the color. I'm not going to leave any, um, any of that white showing on the edge. So you see, I cut that all the way down, and I'm going to cut that off on both sides. There's not very much on this side that I need to cut off, so that's a good thing. All right, so I've cut these guys down just to the size they were in the paper pad. And I love memories for a photo album, and I like this side too. Now these need to be five inches, and right now they are six and three quarters, a little over six and three quarters. So what we're gonna do is have to cut those down to make that work. So five inches makes me need to take off almost um, seven eighths, yep. Five inches make me, makes me have to take off seven eighths, which is going to be three um, seven sixteenths is what we're going to have to take off of either side. That's a lot of math to do. Maybe yours won't come in quite so difficult, but I'm going to see what happens if I just take off seven sixteenths. Let's see how we land on that. So set, um, not seven sixteenths. Yeah, seven sixteenths on one side, and then seven sixteenths on the other. Again, your paper may not land this way, and you'll be luckier than I am. Now the height of these, um, 
really are going to work out just about right. They may be a little bit off, but it's not going to be too bad. So this is one of our mats for it, and we'll put this guy on here. And that's not bad at all. Because I like the white showing. I think the white is just really, really pretty. So that'll be our first pocket. Now I'm going to go through and do all of these the same way. I'm going to take 7 sixteenths off of the ones that I want to use. Like this one because I love it. So I'm going to come in here and take 7 sixteenths off. Now the postcards are a little wide and I don't want to cut into these because I think they'll kind of lose their integrity. So I'm going to use these somewhere else in the book. They can even be pocket or tags because you could so put a photo back here. You know, we could mat that ourselves to cover that up and mat this and make them photo mats. That's probably what we'll do. So I'll put those aside for now. And let's go ahead and start building these guys. These are going to be simple because the first thing we're going to do is just mat these pieces just like this. And you can do this a couple ways. You can use your sticky tape and... Um, go that whole route, or you can use your wet glue. I'm going to use my wet glue just because, like I said before, it's faster. And I love how quick this dries. And I get so many com comments on this glue. Um, it is an awesome glue. If you've used it yet, it is amazing. And I will leave a link below for you. And the tip is a separate purchase. Be sure you know that you have to get the tip separately. But you definitely want it. Although this glue is awesome, that tip makes it super awesome. <laughs> so there's mat number one. Let's do this guy. I should say pocket number one at this point because now we're actually creating the pockets. So our photo pockets or our pockets for tags are ready to go. And I really want that one right there because I love how that looks. Now for these, you don't have any option. You need to use a wet glue on these guys. And the reason is if you use a dry adhesive behind here, it will never dry. The stickiness will always be sticky. So if you put a tag in crooked, it's going to stick. And that's not what you want to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and just run some adhesive right along the edge here. And then right along the edge here. This is one place I really love this fine tip because it saves me a lot of space for tags and things. Then I'm just going to place this at the bottom. And then seal it down. Now one thing I like to do is just kind of push to the middle a little bit to give it a little bit of room there in the middle. I'm not really puckering it. I just don't want to lay it so flat that I have a hard time getting anything inside of it. So we'll just let that one dry and move on to the next one. This one's cute here. Let me do a little dry run to make sure. Because see that would not work there. But let's see how this one looks. That one looks really good there. And that one looks great there. So that's how we'll do them. Now, if you want to, you can take a punch and make like a little half circle cut out at the top of these pockets so that you can get in and out of them easier. I'm not going to do that. My tags are going to be long enough that I'm not really going to stress about being able to get my fingers in there. So we're just going to do it just like this. But you certainly can if you think you need to adjust them. So now let's go back to the beginning and we have our pockets done. There's one. Here's another one. Another one and another one. See how quick that did? We did four pages of pockets that fast. So whenever I say we do a pass through, that's how we do it. We pass through them. Now let's look at the back side of these pages and see what we want to put here. I'm going to go back to my book to kind of get a little inspiration. And let's just flip around a little bit and see what we can find. That's kind of cute with that half circle situation. That would be like a little opening, a little book. So we'll look. That might be an option. And we already did something similar to that, so I'm not going to do that. And I do love this. I think this corner pocket situation would be really pretty in this book. And even have an um, shaped tag of some sort in there. I really like this. I've been wanting to do this. Let's, take, let's see what that'll look like. I'm just going to sit this to the side. And if we did that little angled piece here, I just really think that this album would look good with that. I might even go all the way to that corner. Something like that. And not be a perfect triangle either. And I even thought it might be pretty to have it fold back on itself a little bit. So let me see. I'm going to cut a piece that's five and a half. And then I'm just going to put an angle in it and see what it looks like just as a test run. So here's what I did. I cut this piece at five and a half. And then I did this angle cut. I'm going to show you how I did it. Remember those little strips I told you not to get rid of that we had a bunch of these left? This is where I'm going to start to use these. And I like these more solid sides. So I'm going to cut this down to five and a half to start with. And then what I did was I just kind of went to the book. Let me see if I can get it where you guys can see it. 
here we go. I kind of went to the book and I just kind of looked at it to see how I'd like my angle to be done, that sort of thing. And then I thought, okay, I've got an idea, so let's try it. So I want you to be able to see what I did. This is my cutting line. So I put that top point on the cutting line. Then the bottom point down here, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to move it to the cut bar edge, okay? So now I know if I do that with every one, I'll get the same angle. doesn't matter what angle you pick. Just decide how you're going to do it, and you'll get the same piece every time. I'll show you. So that was a five and a half inch piece, and I did the angles the same both times. Okay, so I'm going to do um, four of these, so I need two more of them. So let's do it again. I'm going to cut this piece at five and a half. That'll probably be off screen for a second. All right, so I'm going to take the top and put it at the cut bar or where it's going to cut on the cut line. Okay, and then the bottom one, I'm going to run right down here to the cut bar just to get my same angle that I've had. And you guys can get any angle you want, just so long as you're doing the same angle every time. Now I want to put these guys in. And I'm not going to use this one because I don't think you can see it very well. I'm going to use this polka dot because I think you can see it really good. And it will go in just like this, and it will become a slot pocket for whatever I'm going to put inside. Okay, so I love the way these look in the pages, but I thought it would be really cute if they had a border sticking out of some sort. So I cut some one-inch strips of paper, and we're going to use these to make a little border for them. And I'm going to use a border punch to get a frilly edge on these. And I'm going to use this guy. It is a scalloped dot um, punch, and it is very, very, very dainty. So that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to run through here and border punch all of these guys, just like so. Okay, so I have the little borders cut, and I think they are super cute, the little scalloped edge. And what I'm going to do is just line this up to the edge. And I'll have to do some cutting, just a little bit of cutting, but that'll be fine. But I'll get that little frilly edge, which I think will make such a difference. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run some adhesive along this strip, just like this. So I've got the adhesive along this strip, and then I'm just going to line that point up with the edge. And then just bring this down so it'll get that frilly little scalloped edge. And I'm just going to use some scissors to cut that away. I went ahead and cut four strips because I felt like I wouldn't be able to use much more than that. I'd have to use, you know, one whole strip per one of these. But I can use these again on another page. You know, the leftovers here, I can use those for something else. So I'm going to save those in my pile of scraps. But isn't that cute to have that little edge on it? I think that looks cute. It's going to look a lot better in the book. So I'm going to go ahead and do all four of these the same way. So now they all have their little borders. And let's see how they look in the book. I think that's going to look really cute and make them pop. So we will just pick a page. So let's go right here and let's see. I love this yellow on this busy page. Look how much better that looks with that little border. I think that border makes all the difference in the world. So let's glue that guy in. If you don't have those border punches, um, you could use some decorative scissors if you've got some of those. Those would work just fine. Um, you could use your electronic cutting machine and cut out some borders. That would be awesome because you could do that and get a whole bunch of them, you know. That would be great. So let's put this guy in. And I treated him just like a pocket. I only adhered three sides so that he's open along the scallop. I keep calling him he, but he really needs to be a girl, right, with the scallop. But he now it's open across the top, so this can be a pocket. Isn't that cute as it can be? I love that. Let's run through and do a pass with these. So it makes sense now when I say you're doing a pass through. We're just kind of passing through the book and doing something as we go. All right, so now we have these pockets installed. And we have these little guys, which I love these little angled flaps. And remember, that inspiration came from our book. That's how I'm using that book is to be the inspiration for all of these little pieces. I love how that looks. And this is not something I think of. This is one of those things I have to see a picture to be reminded that you can do stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to stop here today. I'm trying not to overload you with long, long videos. The reason is so many people kind of follow along and make these with me. This gives you an opportunity to kind of catch up. When we get back next time, we'll start working. We've got our outer flaps completely done. Have you noticed that? Now they're just ready for tags. 
to go inside. Isn't that awesome? And we did that in only two passes. So when we get back next time, we'll start to address the insides. And I think what I'll work on first are these pieces on the inside. And we'll do a pass through and then we'll work on the flaps. All right, the next thing. I want this book to be a little interactive. So I ask you guys your opinion of something. I want to install something here that can be um, another mini, like a little insert mini album or anything. Give me some advice on what you guys would like to see in here. I've got all kinds of ideas, but I thought, you know, if there's something you want to learn how to do, if you'll tell me what it is or send me a picture or um, put it on Pinterest and send it to me or put it on my Facebook and let me see it, maybe I can figure that out. The only requirement we have is we have about half an inch to fit something in on both sides. So send me or tell me what you think would be cool on these two flaps. And I do want it to be interactive. I want them to be either opened, um, you know, door flaps that open or something like that. So just let me know what you want to learn how to do. All right, until we get together again, catch up here. And we're doing good. This guy's really filling up. Let's close it and see. It's really getting meaty and I love the way this one is feeling. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.